the United Nations is exploring the possibility of building floating cities, as the world continues to find a way to curb rising sea levels. 90% of the world's largest cities are vulnerable to inundation as glaciers melt and seas rise on a warming planet. A UN-backed partnership will study the futuristic prospect of modular platforms anchored to the sea floor, could be connected in a ring to house communities atop the oceans, members said. UN Habitat, which works on sustainable urban development, will team up with private firm Oceanix, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and the Explorers Club, a professional society, to advance the concept. As climate change gathers pace and more people crowd into city slums, floating cities is one of the possible solutions, said UN Habitat's executive director, Maimi Mahmoud Sharif. The partnership plans to build within months a prototype open to the public, which it hopes to dock on the East River next to UN headquarters. Compared with another located in Copenhagen, the New York City version aims to grow its own food and meet its water and energy needs, said US company Oceanix, which will build it. The vision for floating cities has raised questions over whether they could divert attention from dealing with the root causes of climate change, which by boosting sea levels threatens low-lying coastal communities with storm surges and flooding. Some have also warned the cities may end up being only for the ultra-rich, such as floating villas currently being sold off the coast of Dubai, a risk the new project aims to address by exploring seaborne homes for the neediest too. The concept has prompted cutting-edge research in water management, ocean engineering and farming that could produce floating cities which are self-sufficient and safe from extreme weather like storms, a discussion at the United Nations heard. We are basically building resilience at the platform level, said Mark Collins Chen, Oceanix chief executive. Should global average temperatures increase 1.5 degrees Celsius from pre-industrial times, sea levels could rise as much as 30.3 inches by 2100, according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The lower 1.5 degrees Celsius limit enshrined in the Paris Agreement is likely to be breached between 2030 and 2052, if global warming continues at its current pace and unprecedented measures are not taken to stem the increase, a 2018 IPCC report said. Nobel Prize winning economist Joseph Stiglitz, told the Reuters that much of the technology emerging from research on floating cities, could also be used to improve existing cities on solid ground. The benefits are not just going to be what you will be doing on water, but on land, he said.